In this video, let's take a brief moment to talk about some of the major enhancements and updates in Vocaline 6 Pro when compared to Vocaline 5 Ultra. So first things first, let's start off with the flagship feature, which is Pro Tools ARA compatibility. Simply selecting the clips that we have available in Pro Tools, holding the Shift and Option modifier, we have the ability to edit with Vocaline 6 Pro. This also works with Vocaline 6 Standard. And then from here, if you know the tracks that you wanna use as your guide and your dub, it is simply a matter of selecting each one of these, and then they are instantly available to do any processing that you want. Now also notice that with Vocaline 6 Pro and Vocaline 6 Standard, they have been updated with a dark mode GUI. So depending on the lighting scenarios that you're working with, and especially if you're working really, really long studio sessions, this can be a little bit easier on the eyes when you start talking about staring at screens for two, three, four, or five hours. So this is something that we see with both Vocaline 6 Pro and Vocaline 6 Standard. Now, in addition to that, we also have the ability to show and hide different panels. So if we only want to be working with the timing panel, then we can just bring that up. If we momentarily need to see the pitch, we can bring that up as well. And then we have the other panel. So this can can be really useful if you're working on smaller laptop screens where you don't have a lot of screen real estate or in this case I'm working on a 27 inch 4k ultra HD monitor I have plenty of space I can resize this actual editor and I can bring in all the displays I want to get the work done that I need to do in addition to that we obviously have the ability to do an undo and then a redo so if you've made a couple different changes and you want to try these different settings out, you have the ability to kind of take some steps backwards. You can really quickly addition those changes and then you can bring yourself back to where you were. That can be really, really useful. Now, in addition to that, we have an improvement in terms of the sync points. So if ever you find yourself in a situation, which honestly doesn't happen that much with Vocaline Pro, but if you do find yourself in a situation where you have something that doesn't quite line up exactly the way you would like it to, then you have the ability to zoom in and you can simply right click and then you can add a sync point. Now from here, you have the ability to actually designate where these sync points are going to. So this can be really useful in the cases where there might be an actual word missing. You can find a spot to align to and then add a sync point. And of course, it's very easy to just clear all these sync points as well. Now next up, let's talk about smart pitch. So in this case, I have a female lead vocal, a male lead vocal, which is a unison track, and those two have been processed already. And if we play them together, I fight all your fire, carry your pain. We have the timing and the tuning from the female lead vocal that's been imparted on the male lead vocal. In this case, though, we have two harmony tracks. If we take a listen to these, I fight all your fire, carry your pain until it's lighter. So the idea here is that we want to get the timing from the lead vocal, but in addition to that, their tuning is slightly off and we want to fix that. So with the new smart pitch mode, we have one preset that we can use to do this. And in addition to that, we have a new way in which we can capture tracks, which is using process groups. So anytime you want to capture anything where you have two or more different tracks and you want to use the exact same settings for both of them, then we have the ability to head over to the dub track and we have the ability to choose a new group for next capture. As you can see, this now says group one. Let's go ahead and capture this. Now, if we take a look at our main screen over here, if I select any one of these tracks in my DAW, notice that Vocaline Pro is following this. This is the case in most DAWs that support the ARA compatibility. But in addition to that, if I make a change where I bring in the pitch for a moment, take note that this has been applied to both. So if I head up to this track over here, the exact same settings have been applied across both of these. Now let's take a really quick moment to talk about the different modes that are available in Smart Pitch. So first of all, if we go to Smart Pitch, we have three different modes. We have Match Alt to Guide, we have Match Unison only, and we have Match Unison and Tune Non-Unison. If you choose the Match All to Guide feature, this is pretty self-explanatory. This will match everything to the guide track, but these are harmony tracks, so that's not necessarily what we want to do. Then we have the option to match unison only. This is pretty useful because in the case where it's a unison track, it will match the timing and the pitch, but in the case such as this, where it's a harmony track, it will only impart the timing, even though we have the match pitch option on there. So we are going to have perfectly time-aligned vocals, but the pitch will remain the exact same. Let's light up. If I could, I would cry all your teardrops. 
Now let's say that I wanted to do a really, really quick tuning pass of these background harmonies. Let's solo both of these out together. And in fact, let's also select both of these. What I do in this case is I make sure that I'm using a different preset. I'm going to go to the smart pitch mode and choose match unison and tune non-unison. So now you can see over here, if we switch to the pitch display and let's zoom out a little bit, watch what happens when I take this pitch, when I enable it on and off, it's very, very subtle, but there is a slight shift in the tuning. And that's because both of these vocal performances have been tuned to 100% based on the nearest semitone of the recorded performance. So if you have a performance that's already pretty good, it's very easy to knock these perfectly into shape with the smart pitch mode. Now also take note over here at the bottom, we have this area over here, you can see this glowing white line. This is the actual heat map that's available in Vocaline 6. Pro. And if we choose a different setting, like let's, for example, choose the match all to guide option and let's go to absolute. Take note over here that we have a really solid white glowing line. This is indicating that there is a lot of processing going on over here. That's because I've just taken two harmony tracks and I've perfectly time aligned them and tuned them according to a lead vocal track. That's a female lead vocal. I fight all your fight obviously a massive amount of processing that's happening on these tracks. I'm gonna switch this back to nearest octave. We will switch this back to match unison and to non-unison. And in terms of the algorithm, we're gonna use the brand new algorithm, which is mode three. I fight all your fire, carry your pain until it's lighter. So that sounds awesome. And if we play all of these in context with each other. I fight all your fire, carry your pain until it's lighter. Now in terms of working with non-ARA based DAW, such as Ableton Live, so in terms of the capture, it's just a matter of selecting your mouse cursor to the track that you want. And then I'm gonna hold down the shift modifier. We'll enable capture on both of these together. And then all we have to do is just press play. Now once these tracks have been brought over into Vocaline 6 Pro from within Ableton Live, we have the ability to immediately make any changes that we want. We can addition everything in real time because it's playing back from the Vocaline 6 Pro's cache. So that's a super quick look at some of the massive improvements and changes that we see from Vocaline 5 Ultra to Vocaline 6 Pro. Hope you enjoyed this video and we'll catch you in the next one. Cheers. Mm -hmm.